Hello, I'm Joe Nags. Welcome to Nags Guitars here in Greensboro, Maryland. Um, say hello to all of Japan. We'll start from the uh, outside of the building, explain a little bit about the building we're in, and then we'll take you through the wood storage, uh, how we're building some of the instruments, the Severn in particular. Uh, we got some acoustic guitars we're working on, and we'll show you that, and uh, we'll take it from there. Yeah, as I said, we're in Greensboro, Maryland. Okay, we're in an old building. Uh, we set up shop in an old building. It was built in 1912. It's, this building used to be an old baseball glove factory for a company called George E. Reach. Uh, they were a major uh, supplier of the, of the Major League Baseballs during Babe Ruth's days. Uh, then they later sold to Spalding, I believe. Uh, but they built gloves in here until around 1970. It's a nice building to work in. We got beautiful windows, a lot of natural sunlight. That always helps when you're trying to build fine instruments. You can see what you're doing. You get the real light, uh, the real colors, so you can see your colors better. And there's many uh, things. You know, when we're working in here in the winter time, we get to see the snow falling, and it's just a it's just a nice environment. Okay, this is our wood rack. We're a small shop. We got six people working here uh, on the guitars and of course my business partner, Peter Wolf. Um, we've been building since um, 2000, well really since 2010, around May of 2010. So about two and a half years. Uh, we're up to making about 40 guitars a month, which is a big stride for us. We got five different models, uh, two different series. We got the Chesapeake series and we have the Influence series. In the Chesapeake series, we have the Chop Tank and the Severn, and the electric guitars. In the acoustic guitars, we have the Potomac and the Patuxent. And in the Influence series, we have the Kanai, the Kia, the Chenna, and the Cheyenne. So we have more than five, but we're concentrating on five models for right now. Uh, but we are starting to get into building some acoustic guitars. So we start with the wood, and of course, all good guitars, it all begins with good wood, okay? Uh, how a guitar sounds is completely based on the woods that you use, including electric guitars. An electric guitar is, has its own character that's then translated through the pickups, where an acoustic guitar has a, its own character, just played, character played acoustically. Here we have curly maple. Okay, we're getting the curly maple from the east coast. It's a nice tier one top here. We use mahogany backs on the influence. Okay, and we use um, alder and swamp ash for the Chesapeake series. In the acoustics, we're using anything from paduk to cocobolo to East Indian rosewood, curly maple, South American mahogany for the backs, and then mostly red spruce for the tops. Uh, in this rack here, we have East Coast curly maple. We got some West Coast quilt. Some nice quilt we just got in. We have East Indian Rosewood fingerboards, ebony fingerboards, curly maple fingerboards, cocobolo fingerboards, okay? Spruce bracing. Here's some acoustic neck planks that have been drying out for about five, six months. We have curly maple fingerboards, neck planks, okay? Um, the mahogany is out in the, out in the hall. We have wenge down here, okay? This is. Uh, what we make our pick guards out of for the Chesapeake series, for the Chop Tanks and Severns, and we also offer uh, maple pick guards. We also use Sapele as our cap wood for the Severns. Our Severns are laminated three pieces together, and then we carve around to give the effect of the curly maple on the outside binding. This is our hot room. <laughs> We call it, it's just our hot box, okay? We don't have a big hot room, we're a very small shop. And what we do is we put the wood in here, we dry it down to at least 6%, sometimes a little lower. All our fingerboards go in there, all of our neck planks, all of our tops, our backs, everything that we're gonna use, and we, use, we basically stock it each week, and it dries the wood out thoroughly for us to use the next week. We're in about 2,000 square foot, facility in this building we rent in this area uh, hopefully we rent we'll end up renting the whole downstairs here 
we maybe even have future plans of opening a guitar school and that we would do upstairs. Basically, our CNC machines, our heart, okay, that's cutting all the pieces. Right now, it's carving a, an East Indian rosewood neck. You can smell it. <laughs> um, it's been carving mahogany necks here, okay? These are some influence necks, carved and ready to go. We carve our neck planks out. We round our fingerboards. We glue them together later. This way, the neck really dries out. The fingerboard really dries out. And we've been having great success with our neck staying very, very straight. There's different stages. Here's stage one of our neck planks. These just came out of the hot box. These are some curly maple neck planks, okay? They dried in the hot box for at least two weeks. Here's some mahogany ones that we have going, okay? This first stage, you know, quickly going through it. We put our, we, we, we do this stage, then we go put our truss rod in it, we cut an OD, we put ears on it, and then we drill our holes, we carve the neck, and it's ready to have a fingerboard glued on it which is this stage right here. Our bodies, okay, are curly maple, or for the influence, are curly maple and mahogany together. We laminate those pieces together. We put them on the CNC machine. We cut, well, first we cut the OD out, and then we put them on our CNC machine. We cut the shapes. All that's been programmed for all different five models, okay? The body comes off and it gets sanded. This is our, you know, basically this is our wood shop. We have our CNC machine, our bandsaw, we resaw wood with this, we cut our wood with this. We have our planer, our joiner, all the typical machinery that you use for building guitars. Thickness sander for a lot of the acoustic work, for all of our pick guards, everything else. Okay, we use Cocobola fingerboards for our Chesapeake guitars, the electric Chesapeake guitars. Uh, the reason we use Cocobolo is it's a very hard wood, okay? It's very similar to Brazilian rosewood has very similar quality. Sometimes you can't even tell the difference unless you have a very experienced eye. Uh, but what I like about the Coco Bolo is it has a certain ring to it for the chest peak guitars. I like the chest peak guitars to have a very high end and a very clean low end, okay? Not a lot of mid-range. And the Coco Bolo provides that as well as the curly maple finger, I mean the maple necks and the alder and the maple tops. It adds, um, it, just, it just adds up to a very clean, clear guitar that, that sustains very well, okay? There's some mid-range in there, but there's not a lot, okay? Where on the Influence guitars, we use East Indian fingerboards, okay, which provide much more mid-range. Mahogany back provides much more mid-range. So our, our Influence series is more of a mid-rangey guitar, okay? very much like the classics. And then our chest peak series is more on the high end with a lot of deep lows, okay? And the scale lengths provide these things also.